Not gonna lie, I might have shed a few tears during this one when the words in, in memory of Anton Yelchin appeared on the screen. Now in Thoroughbreds, which I hope I'm saying correctly, we follow two unlikely friends who are rekindling in Connecticut and they decide they're going to do this very weird and sinister act for personal gain. Now, Thoroughbreds was Fantastic Fest opening film. And let me tell you, this is a very weird and bizarre movie. And I think I loved it. There's so much going on in this movie that's just completely bizarre. But with this kind of performances, they absolutely sell the material. And I think that that's what's so great about this movie. Is the movie stars Anna Taylor-Joy, Olivia Cook, and the late Anton Yelchin. And I think that they absolutely steal every scene that they're in. And it has a very weird and dark plot. And it's not going to be for everyone. But for Fantastic Fest, it fits the bill. And I think what it's so great about this movie is this movie literally has no empathy. There's no empathy at all. And none of the characters carry it. They're blunt. They're, they're straightforward. And what's so great about it is Olivia Cook is actually a character who literally has no emotions. She knows she has no emotions. And there are scenes where she actually tries to have emotion. And they're absolutely bonkers in, in terms of comedy. And the same can be said with Anna Taylor Joy, who has a stillness and a posture to herself that is really funny to watch. And there's shots in this movie where she's giving us nothing, but she's saying everything. And while his role is very light and he's not in it as much, Anton Yelchin just steals every scene that he's in. And this is definitely a very actor heavy movie like a lot of this movie relies on the actors to sell this story sound design is impeccable in this movie and dare i say it's probably some of the best sound design i've seen in a movie all year besides maybe dunkirk like the sound design is just bonkers from eating chips to crying to the sound of an exercise machine everything relies so heavily on the sound to tell the story and this is a gorgeous looking movie i mean the the cinematography is just beautiful to look at. The whole movie is bizarre and you, it goes in directions you don't expect it to go in. The ending was something I completely didn't expect, but I absolutely loved it. There's things about the ending that I think people are going to question. And I'm so glad I had the director there in the Q&A afterwards to, to explain why he chose to go certain ways with it. And I just thought it was an absolute joy. Overall, Thoroughbreds is a weird, bizarre film that has a very interesting interesting plot that goes in all sorts of directions. It'll have you laughing out loud. It'll have you gripping to your seat. It'll just have you completely invested. As the score goes, I'm going to give Thoroughbreds a 4 out of 5. So you guys, there you have it. That was my review for the opening film Thoroughbreds. Let me know in the comments section below if you were looking forward to this film or any questions you may have. And until next time you guys, I'm the Slash Movie here and you guys have just been slashed.